here we are again. We are at another thousand milestones. So last year, the channel was at 2000. Then we passed 3000. Then we passed 4000. Now we're kicking off 2022, barely two months in by passing 5000. My brain is blown. I don't even have the words to properly even verbalize it. You guys rock. Like, it's, again, I just, I don't have the words to properly verbalize it. I can't thank you guys enough. So what we're going to be doing is, like usual, like we've done twice before, there's going to be a bit of a Q&A. But today, we are also going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be reacting to my first reviews. Not the ones that you can scroll back on my channel and find. No, no, no. That would be too easy. That would be too... Uh, that would not be cringe enough. I have another channel. Some of you guys may have seen it, maybe not. It's a channel that I used years and years ago when I was doing some short films. I would do stop motions, that kind of thing. I decided to do some reviews on there a while back. It's been a long time since I watched them, but I'm worried. I might die of cringe, but you know, where's the fun in it being easy? Before we start that though, I have two things that I wanted to say. First of all, I wanted to welcome the first channel member, Not a Hacker 776. Not a Hacker has his own YouTube channel actually. He does like he's got like this little kind of turntable thing and he does showcases of figures. They're actually pretty cool. I highly recommend you go and check it out. I will put the link to his channel down in the description. And yeah, it's for those of you bleh, I can't speak. For those of you who don't know, you can do channel memberships. And in doing that, you will get um, instant access to all videos. As soon as I upload them, you can watch them. Um, you get shout outs every now and then. And also, sometimes I will open up a Google form and you can go and fill it out and put your thoughts about a certain set. I'll specify uh, like in a post beforehand. And then those thoughts will be put in a video about that set. So that's kind of the perks of being a channel member right now. I'm still working on it. It's a, it's a new thing, work in progress. So there'll be adjustments, but yeah, that is a thing. Now, second, I had somebody point out to me something. I found it very interesting. So I'm gonna ask you guys what you think. Some YouTubers say subs. Everybody who watches their channel and subscribes is a sub. Some just say subscriber straight up. Now my question is, does sub, just, just calling somebody a sub, does that sound demeaning? As if a sub was like, I don't know, somehow less than, not like, I don't know. Maybe I'm not explaining this properly, but basically, the person I was talking to, they said they find it annoying when somebody will say, oh, uh, sub to my channel or I've hit 5,000 subs or whatever, because it sounds almost like putting down the subscribers as if they should subscribe because the person making the video is so great, as opposed to saying subscriber, which sounds almost more important on their part. So something, I don't know, I wanted to see if that was something people thought about, like, do you prefer it when uh, any YouTuber you watch says subs or subscribers? Or does it matter? It might not matter to you. It might not be something to think about. But it was just something that was interesting. So I would definitely like to hear what you guys think in the comments below. And maybe I'll make a poll or something too uh, with maybe some better wording. But yeah, so that is the two things I wanted to cover beforehand. So let's jump over to the computer and start looking at these really cringe reviews. I don't have to clean off my desk because I have no space for the computer at the moment. Okay, here we are. We are at the computer. Um, I've tried the webcam again. Hopefully it works. It's kind of bright off to this side. And yeah, so hopefully it works out. I don't know how much I'll be using the webcam because yeah, there's like light trails. I also tend to record like mid afternoon. So that kind of doesn't make it any easier. So anyway, that's, that's an aside. What we're going to do first is I am here on the 
post about the 5K stuff. Uh, for the questions, we've got 12 different questions, I think, or 12 different comments at least. Oh uh, yeah, so 12 different questions. So we'll go through, do a couple, and then we will start watching. So you can see I'm actually on, not on my main account, I'm on the other account because um, I can't access the videos unless I'm on this account because I made them private. Anyway, so first question is by I'm I'm M. What IPs do you think would fit well for Mega Constructs? So I guess like other brands. Hmm, that's a good question. Anything that you know you have like more, you need more posing and stuff. So like, I'm trying to think. I would. I would love to see some Final Fantasy stuff, honestly. I don't know how well that would fit as an IP, but I think that would be pretty cool to have a cloud, little tiny cloud action figure. Um, I'm trying to think. I know I've thought of some, and now I'm not thinking of any. You know what would be kind of cool? This is kind of counterintuitive, but... Doing a Gundam theme for Mega Constructs, having them bring back the Gundam theme because there was a Gundam. Uh, actually, there's been like four Gundam sets where it's like brick built and whatever. Bringing those back, maybe having some brick built Gundams, but maybe just doing micro action figure Gundams. I think that would be kind of cool. Other than that, though, I'm I'm having a hard time thinking of like what IPs might be good. I know I've had some other ideas, and now I'm I'm mad at myself that I can't think of it. That's all I can think of at the moment. Final Fantasy and maybe some Gundam stuff. Okay, the next one we have is by Arbiter Productions. What is your favorite Halo Infinite figure Mega has made so far? This includes sets, blind bags, and heroes. Well, I think... This dude probably is my favorite so far. However, um, this guy, this guy is a very close second. This dude is super cool. And I added my own ammo belt. That's a Call of Duty piece right there. But yeah, so first guy is obviously my channel mascot. Second is very, very close, uh, but it's the... Like, stealth marine, like, mass marine guy. Okay, so we'll do one more, and then we'll start the, the cringe fest. Crystal Dragon Skull asks, When did you start collecting, and how did you get new Mega... Or how do you get new Mega Constructs set so quickly? So, first, I started collecting Mega Constructs... Mm, almost three years ago now? I don't remember exactly, but you can see... Pretty much on my channel exactly when I start collecting because like a review comes out like a couple weeks after I bought my first set. And then how I get new Mega Construct sets so quickly is there's really no secret to it. I just have kind of a list of places that I check. So like Target, Walmart, their websites and the stores, uh, Big Bad Toy Store, um... There's a couple others. I have like bookmarks and stuff. Amazon. Basically, I just keep an eye on all the news. I keep an eye on all the stores and just constantly look. And then also places like Reddit and whatnot. Sometimes people will say like people a couple states over from me will find the new stuff and I still won't have it. So I'll buy it from them. It, it varies from set to set and release wave to release wave. But for the most part, it's just me paying a lot of attention to what's going on in, like, releases. So hopefully that answers the question. Here we go. So up here in a new tab. Oh, my gosh. So this is my first review ever. Let's, <laughs> let's do this. Okay. That's a little bit weird, but... Ah, uh, yes. The cringe, um, intro.
Yeah, no, a, a review doesn't need this long of an intro. Here we have a new Superman minifigure. Oh, oh, we're just starting right into it. There's no like introduction. He's got a new face. He's got a new hair piece, and he's got new. Oh, my voice sounds um, weird. Body printing. My voice sounds so um, weird. His mad face is the same as all the other ones, but that doesn't really matter. Also, the green backdrop. That's real classy. Um, real classy. He's about the same as the. Um, Gosh, I sound like I'm like. The 12. Man of Steel, Superman Wait, figure. maybe I was There's 12. Variations. I think his suit is a little bit simpler, less, less gold. Then we've got Batman, and he's got entirely... My camera is hard, new, such a hard silver, time focusing. Uh, bat mask. He's got a uh, dark silver version of this armor that was... That com it also comes on um, the mystery minifigure Spaceman and in some of the Ultra Agent sets. So he's got these clips on the back. Okay, I gotta admit, I'm a little less nice. cringed out than I was expecting uh, to, at least in this are, review. They're silver instead of the regular black. And Batman has a new face. He's got okay. a glow-in-the-dark head. So when you charge him up... For the sake of time, I'm just gonna... I'll skip forward a little bit face. every now and the again. Batmans have a gray back cape. It's a single hole cape so that it will fit with his armor. And he's got new grappling hook that's a light grip. You a bazooka. The set also includes Superman's super jumper, which uh, I've seen a lot of people having problems with getting their minifigures off of the. That actually was a problem. A lot of people would stick their figures on and then be like, "Oh, I can't get my figure off. He's stuck on there forever." Finger on the launching tab. Put your hand Those hand were hand cool hand pieces, hand but they did tam yeah, they did tend to damage pop off with the legs. Little to no damage on the legs if you do it correctly. Oh, I just can't get over how ugly the green background is. Build here. It's got a barrier for Superman to knock over with his super jumper, so it comes easily off onto this. That was a uh, overall. It was actually a pretty cool set, but that barrier thing is, is weird because it's like a gun, but also a barrier, and it's got like so antennas. I'm going to be pointing out that. Oh yeah, and the bat symbol would fire off. That a lot of people don't really like. It's a little bit strange. It's more oh. like a shooting bat symbol than an exploding bat symbol. Which are fairly rare. Then we've got a. Which that was actually kind of a cool feature, I gotta admit. Pieces. We have the new kryptonite, the regular dark green crystal. We have a little box here with. Okay, the, well, overall, for the first video, this is not actually as bad as I was expecting originally. Some, so that. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, I forgot. I. I've done some other stuff with it. It's got like 94 pieces to the set. I just sound really unsure. So that. Like, for anybody starting and doing their own reviews, don't worry about how you sound when you start. And also, don't, please, 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 don't ever use a green background. Give more, That's more room, terrible. More room for them to fight. Um. So I just if you and avoid ums. About I mean, I even still do that. Upgrading yourself doing um, that's like a way to videos, think. But if you can avoid it, that's a good. Easily. I like how there's no outro or anything. Well, I mean, there is. What is that? Oh, that's ugly. Um, there was no no outro really at all. It just kind of faded away. I mean, I guess that's I guess that's fine. So wait, we've got we've got a couple. So let me. There's these videos are kind of long, so I can't do all of the entire length of it. But yeah, let's go ahead and look at this. Garage band loops, very professional. Also, why did I decide to make the titles all like angled like that? Bad lighting. Oh no. Wait, I think I did this on my desk. Hello, YouTubers and Lego fans. Um, oh my gosh, what was that intro? Mm. 
today I'm going to review the Thunder Driller. And I still sound like I'm 12. Maybe I... Wait, when was this? This is back in 2016. Why is this guy reviewing sets that are discontinued? Well... I don't think anybody Just wondered that. Discontinued doesn't mean you can't get them anymore. There are places like Bricklink, Brick Owl. Yeah, I don't think anybody ever I wonders why people review old sets because if you get old places. sets, might as well review it. Um, like people still want to buy them. Always a way that you can still get it. So let's look at the minifigures first. Power and Miners was fantastic, it. though. I mean, you guys know so how much I like it. I've reviewed minifigures. some of them the recently. Has the Power Miner Leader, Doc, and Expert Miner, Duke. And the Crystal King comes with this guy, who I've read is supposed to be another version of Duke. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, actually. It, so it's weird. Like, the leader. the other and Duke was like... This guy, he looks to be... He had, like, the gray all over his face, as if it was a beard. On his, and... Um, I guess it looks like a beard, but then the other guy just has it all cleaned off. Oh, it's so dark. This is supposed to be another version of the Power Miner rex which doesn't make sense because rex has a beard most other times. oh wait look this okay this alternate face is one of my favorite alternate faces for lego minifigures ever um he does not have a visor with this most of the time they don't you see he's got the quirked up eyebrow i really love his other expressions look at that that's great that's absolutely perfect or just kind of shocked he's like just kind of yelling Oh, and then on the back you see this star with like a orange saw around it. The star meant he was the leader. Let's just skip through the minifigures. It has these monkey-like arms hanging down to his feet. Gray rock with some crystal showing through. Small, mischievous-looking eyes, and you can open their mouth and put a crystal... It is really dark. That's another thing for anybody wanting to do your own reviews. Please have good lights. Like, make sure your whole set is well lit. Everything you're looking at is well lit. Because the point of a review is to actually see, like, the details of the thing. And if it's not well lit, then nobody's going to be able to see. You may or may not know they come in a couple different colors. This one is orange. Um, yes, I have to specify it's orange because you really can't see the color at all. Alright, here's the second minifigure for, well, in the Crystal King set. He appears to be a demolition expert. You can see he's got a flight goggles. This dude has a metal plate in his head. Like, how does how is he alive after panel? Like, what? You see a little bit of scars underneath, and he has a nice smirk. On the other side, he is again screaming for his life, and he's. Does that wait? Does that mean he's actually a robot underneath? The scar appears to be slightly longer on the other ones. So here are the accessories. That was kind of an awkwardly long pause. Both sets come with the dynamite. The um, thunder driller. Comes that a with dog? Bells. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I had lived on the farm then, and there was a farm dog named Belle, and she liked to bark at everything. With the Crystal King set, you have this. Well, this is more of a build, but I'm counting it as an accessory. Uh, you get ah, that little squeaking noise in the background. That's actually um, guineas. They're kind of like chickens, but they're more stupid. And they they're like they look like cross between chickens and turkeys, and they're a lot more stupid. Uh, more stupid than either of them, really. Very well. So if you have a gray one, it works better. The gray ones of those pigs were actually really old. That was like old Lego stuff. It, it, it wasn't very good because it made the whole arm wobble. So if you replace that... No, I had actually forgotten I modded it that way because I still have that thing built to this day. I've never taken it apart. And I forgot that I had modified it like that. Rock monsters. The crystal now we've got the Crystal King himself. The Crystal King set, if that wasn't obvious. No, it wasn't obvious at all. The Rock Monsters, he has to be built out of bricks. Instead of being two to three oh, this was in the summer, because you can actually hear the air conditioner running in the background. That's hilarious. Lime green crystals on him. I've said before. Gosh, this brings back a lot of memories, actually. Brick 
built mechs or creatures of any sort. So I really love this set. No, I sound a little more like myself right there. That is on the back. You Still, there's to this day, one of my favorite Lego builds. I still have him. He's dismantled right now and packed up, but yeah, he's really, really cool. I guess wider. Giant crystal teeth that he could use to destroy the power miners vehicles or maybe eat them but of course lego wouldn't have them actually be eaten because that's not that's not child friendly it might bother some people it doesn't bother me the articulation on this dude was pretty good actually the older ones so they're kind of thin and they had the habit of cracking you can see there well i can't actually see there because the camera was not focused on it at all you might want to consider replacing it for the newer ones but other than that i really liked him oh what, there's one more thing his feet you know nice movement here it doesn't bend at the knee but i don't really care he doesn't even have a knee his leg is just a stick oh this makes me want to dig out the crystal king and the thunder driller from my storage bin and rebuild it i wish i had the space to have him out right now if you can get him for a reasonable price i know <laughs> even back then i was having to talk about reasonable prices for things just shows how much this hobby is whether it's lego or mega constructs it's never cheap enough to get it for around the original price and yeah i think i found it on craigslist actually i always love how like underneath the little computer map thing there's just fire spewing out the whole engine is supposed to be magma powered magma powered engine that's a great just put the exhaust vent for the magma powered engine right underneath your controls that's perfect he kind of gets fried i don't know if lego thought of that or not clearly they did not think of that the stickers on power miner sets were always amazing I think it would probably just be straight up rock dust. And this sticker is actually kind of raised and you can feel the dirt stuff on it. More scratches and stuff. What I didn't know at the time was that raise, whenever the sticker felt raised, that meant it was glow in the dark. And I had no clue at the time. Like electrical box or something and something here that has TMA above it. <laughs> Sometimes you can tell that I'm trying to figure out what to say next because I've never scripted my reviews. Pretty much... No, I don't think any of my videos on my whole channel or even here were really scripted. I just kind of go. Obviously, I think about it beforehand, or I do now. I don't think I did then. Words say pneumatics and oil. That looks like little panels that could be opened, and then a vent. Roof. Oh yeah, I remember this. I added all of that inside. Um, empty in there. You see, there's just like one of the gears. It's a little dangerous to have your brake area be next to this giant spinning gear, but it worked. I decided to turn it into like a little control room. You can see I added like a little radar and just some other stuff. And you know, I think I actually still have the pieces for that whole radar thing in the bag with the Thunder Driller. It'd be nice if uh, it was there still because I would definitely like to put that back in. It looks pretty nice. This feature, oh my gosh, it was one of the best things in any of the Power Miner sets. The the dual spinning drill, oh so cool. Like personally, really like it. See frame on the bottom. That dark tan piece is actually supposed to be gray. I just didn't have that. I wonder if I ever fixed that. Your box right there. Big double. It's. You can hear my siblings and stuff in the background. Honestly, you can still hear that in some of my newer videos, but not as uh, not as much. So, they fit well together because you get a nice big vehicle here, and then you get a big rock monster so that they can fight or whatever. Fight or whatever. A little orange rock monster with the set, but if you can buy another one, it goes nicely with it. 
the drill thing. Also, just in case you guys are wondering, I keep looking off to the side because I just got this dude in today. You'll see some more videos about him very, very soon, but yeah, he's really kind of distracting. That's really all you need, unless you are a really big fan of the Power Rangers line and you want to get all of them. So, like I said before, the Crystal King is really expensive. If you can find somewhere to get him... Am I going to have another janky outro? Go ahead and do that. So, five out of five stars for both of these sets. Five out of five? Why did I pick five? What? It's ten out of ten. Like, ten stars is kind of... What was that? I'm sorry. What was that transition? Wait, I, I didn't even... you haven't already, and come back later for more videos. Oh, <laughs> that's not a good way to end the video. Why? Okay, I can't stand these anymore. Okay, hopefully that hasn't been too much cringe, but let's answer some more questions. Tallboy asks, who's your favorite Halo Spartan? Well, Master Chief, of course. That's my number one pick, but the close, close runners up, I don't want to say second because they're kind of on the same level, but Locke? And Thorn. Oh, and Jerome. I guess there's three. Locke, Thorn, Jerome are all very, very close on my favorites list, Chief. But like... Oh, my camera's off to the side. Chief. Like, how could you not say Chief? If you're a Halo fan, how could Chief not be one of your favorite Spartans? Mike Cycle asks, what is the most you have paid for one set? I'm assuming you mean Mega Constructs because um, that's going to vary from like Lego. So let's see, what's the most expensive Lego set I've bought? Probably no more than $100. Because a lot of my ones, like I've got some modular buildings up over there. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. no. I bought a couple castle sets for $600. That was the most I've spent. I forgot about that for a second there. Yeah, all the castle sets are up on the shelf too. $600 for like six sets. Castle stuff is expensive. And then for Mega Constructs, probably probably the Harvester. But I only paid 70 for that. And then if you, I guess if you count me having to buy a second Cade, um, which was another 70 so $140, I guess. That, that's probably the most. And then if we want to talk action figures, and we got this dude here, and um, yeah, he was like 165. But uh, we'll talk about that in another video. HMC Films. HMC Films has two questions. Uh, well, technically three. They're kind of rolled together. But the first one is favorite Netflix show. Now, I don't actually have Netflix right now. I don't, haven't had it in a while. I personally, I don't like Netflix that much because when you join, if you just want to join for a little while. Then they and you leave like you quit your subscription or whatever. They constantly send you emails and it's like sad crying faces, being like, "Give us another chance." And I'm like, "Really? You're a big company and you're trying to emotionally manipulate me into getting another subscription?" But to answer the question, I would say probably Pacific Rim: The Black. I know Avatar: The Last Airbender is on Netflix, but I don't think it's actually specifically a Netflix show. I think Netflix just currently is the one that has the rights to stream it. So Avatar, if it is actually Netflix, is would be number one. But Netflix original would be Pacific Rim The Black. It's like an anime-style continuation to Pacific Rim. Um, it's, it's pretty interesting. And then HMC Films also asks, favorite Spider-Man actor, also favorite Spider-Man movie? Probably Tom Holland and probably the newest Spider-Man movie, No Way Home. That was an absolute masterpiece. If you haven't seen it already, I won't say anything about it right now because there's still people that haven't seen it, but it is a absolute must watch. It makes all, it's just, it's so good. It's so good. I do like Andrew Garfield though. I do not like Tobey Maguire. He's always just like, no matter what's happening. see daniel hernandez says it never gets old to say congrats but this time it's for making 5k my question for you is what is your least favorite armor in halo and what is your favorite armor that's actually a really easy one my least favorite of all time just absolute i really just wanted to fall in the garbage and disappear is vector 
it looks so gross to me. It's like the head is all bulgy and ugh, no. Ugh. And then my favorite, that's a harder one because I really like all of Chief's armor. But I also really, really like the Mark 7. And I really like um, the Recruit armor, actually, from Halo like 4 and 5. Those are all really good. It's hard to say which one is my absolute favorite, though. And then he says, also, what are some of your favorite games besides Halo slash Minecraft? Um, so, Smash Ultimate. I play that a lot. I play as usually Cloud or Toon Link. Sometimes um, King K. Rool. And then Nintendo Land, which is a game that's kind of faded into obscurity, but it's a really fun like multiplayer game. Uh, Blur, which is a game I don't think a lot of people have even heard about. It's like a racing game. It's really, really cool. That uh, Mario Party, I played some of that. That's pretty fun. Uh, pretty fun. And then there's a there's a online like free to play game called Tanky that I play a fair bit. That's pretty fun. Okay, so I say let's jump back into some uh, some kind of cringe older reviews. So this one, look at this. I was doing comparison videos way back, even in. 2016, I was comparing as many Batman minifigures as I had. So let's jump right in. Gosh, these intros. I didn't even have like a fade in from black or anything. It just was the bat symbol was there. I'm very glad I stopped doing titles for my reviews like this. Because I was so in the mindset of... Hello, YouTubers. I've done some... Set review what recently, was that intro? And this time I decided to do something a little bit different. So here we've got 12 different Batman minifigures. I think I have more than 12 now. I think I have like 15 or 20 Batmans. Of looking at the sets they came from, we're just going to look at all of them all at once right now. So let's get started. So here's one of the most... Oh, the pauses, the awkward pauses. Why? Uh, this minifigure is was released um in 2012 and went he would kept coming appearing in sets until 2014 that was a little rough in, in that was a little rough sets. i love how you can hear the rooster in the background there's another version of this batman where he i miss having all the chickens just uh, pecking around and being annoying actually older um type one cowl as it's sometimes referred to um with oh my gosh, I say um so many times. I know I still say um a lot, but this is between every other word. It's like um, and then um, it's kind of painful. It's so dim. I just didn't I just didn't know how to do lights. What's funny is I actually still have all of these figures, I think. I don't think I've sold or traded any of them see i still just sound like i'm 12 wait how old would i have been let's see this one came in um that that was five years ago so i would have been like 15 i guess cycle chase so not too far off from 12. but this one he has the wings so here's one of the more unusual... There's just no transitions between the any of the thing. shots. It's just Released. like... <laughs> which is fine sometimes. But I just feel like... I don't know. It's just my opinion. I like it a little bit more when in a review, when you're switching from one subject to another, it just kind of fades a little bit. So I just realized YouTube is kind of loud. Let me turn that down. You see this time, he's the gray version, but he's all white. He's the gray version, but he's all white. I like how you can still hear people talking in the background. The pacing of the whole video is just really slow. He was released in a set called The Riddler Chase, which included Flash and Riddler. It just sounds like I'm struggling to get the words out of my... Which, I mean, I was still just learning, and so I guess I can't be too harsh. Previous Batmans and his I'm more harsh because it's me, and 
because I've watched other like new reviewers videos and it's like okay this is not bad they've got potential but because i know this was me i'm like oh my gosh this is garbage also this batman is an absolutely fantastic figure super cool returns to the typical curved looking one his face so my camera like i'm sitting dead center on the thing but my camera is like set off center in my computer so i have to like be sitting off to the side to be centered in it those wings, Lego tried these wing pieces for like that one wave and they were great and then they stopped using them. I don't know why. Take the open wings off. But they're like really soft and like you could smush them without worrying about them being messed up. They did a Hawkman with the same wings. I think like uh, Falcon could have used that. Where is Falcon? Like Falcon like this could have used wings like that. I mean, the Lego movie. Maybe it's just my opinion. This Batman was released in 2015 in Batman and Super Angry. I Batman. really like this guy's, and this Batman's he face. Has the same cleverly built out of a double... That double gun was made when those uh, studs with the holes in them first came out. You could not build this before this set came out. This Batman was released in... No, I didn't. Oh man, that's bad. So wow, I just edited the same clip in twice. He has his typical. Oh, that's so bad. And you have this one. You can. Oh, how did I make such a bad mistake in the editing? Batman or whatever else you want to call him. Oh, that's. Mm, that's not good. Penguin face off, which was a pretty small set. Honestly, I, this original format that I did for the comparisons or whatever is boring. Like, I don't know, just listing off the years when they were released or whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. The flippers were like, their material was changed. No. No. No, not again. Not again. What? Did I do this for the rest of the... Is that why I didn't release this video? I messed up the editing? Like I said with the Space Batman, I... What? Also, my internet is absolute garbage, so that's why it's taking any time to load. I don't... Maybe I skipped too far past. But I can't believe that. I edited the same, like, segments back to back. The Atlantis theme. Oh, twice in a row. How did I do that? Did I do it for this one too? More rare Batman minifigures. And he came in... Well, he, he was released in 2012. And he came in DC Superheroes Batman Visual Dictionary. It's a bit of a mouthful. Um, he was one of the first... Oh gosh, that's bad. Ah, I can't even stand to watch that one anymore. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I did that. That's so... Did I not watch the video over just to make sure? I mean, sometimes I don't do that now, but usually I'll be watching it like as I'm editing it. What? This one's a short one, so we can watch this one in the entirety. I think I did this one at night. This is weird. All the garage band music. Why'd I have to do the intros like this every time? It didn't need the intros. Alright, so here also from series 16 is... Oh the yeah, the I, for I forgot. I filmed, so the next one we're going to look uh, at is... Got the same hair piece as the Harley I recorded the from, same uh, night, so I spoke series almost series. as if it was in the same video, which is really something I still do to this day. If I'm recording, like, say, all the drop pods in a row, I'll sometimes speak as if it was in the same video, and you should already know what I'm talking about. Stud on the bottom that you can stick it to stuff. This is actually a pretty decent minifigure. The little baby piece was the real draw of the whole set. Um, has all the noises. I don't like that. Um, <laughs> I don't like that at all. Nice minifigure, but the main reason I wanted to get this one was for this new baby piece, which I still have to this day. Get a little bit closer. Wow, the light looks a little bit weird, but whatever. 
<laughs> the light looks a little bit weird, but whatever. Your eyes are just going to burn anyway. Why is it so yellow? Oh, I've decapitated an infant. I don't think... I think I'm going to be demonetized for this. The baby's head. The arms do not move. It's called, like, town people or something like that. <laughs> town people, yes. You cannot... This is the, the only place. There's only two... Oh, now the light's gotten all blue. What? The city set. And this is... I think I was using a little Sony Cybershot camera for all this, so that might explain why it's garbage. It's definitely worth trying to get. If you are feeling the package to try to find her... Which, if you are buying minifigures, definitely you want to feel the package to make sure you're not getting the wrong one. By feeling for the baby's body and head. Because you can tell because this head is much smaller than a regular minifigure head. What is that font? Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll, we'll watch this one, then we'll go answer some more questions. I mean, I guess props for me being... What's the word? It went out of my head. Doing the same intro. <laughs> if I had to do the crappy intro, I might as well use the same so, one. Of the new Series 16 minifigures, here is the spy um, he's one of my favorites in this series um, i still have so this minifigure too and old agents theme oh, i keep forgetting to turn the volume down in the gray color um, so many ums so many ums which, why so many ums whatever he's breaking into uh, this new backpack piece which is really cool it almost looks like a parachute yeah there you can see it's actually not bad macro for that camera that's sort of not bad i'm kind of surprised effect, which looks really nice it's just on this arm not on the other arm he's got a new hair a lot of people use this hair piece for the ronin version of hawkeye in endgame which is kind of true oh tintin hair on steroids goggles or the i mean i don't know oh that's right my cousin said that i just I forgot about that. Directly onto the hair yeah, that does look really weird with the the gog like the goggles off. It looks like his hair is like smooshed down. Like, um, which doesn't really matter. Um, so many ums. Knee pads and all that. A few ums are fine, but there's too many ums. He is referred to as Agent A. That's all. No actual name, just Agent A. Okay. Um, Agent A. I had forgotten about that as well. Up in Alpha Team and in the Agents theme. So he's got little bits of each, like I said. So yeah, this is my favorite minifigure other than the hiker in this series. Oh, one more thing. If you're trying to get him and you're feeling the package to try to find him, I would suggest feeling for the hair, the rope, or possibly the backpack. I mean, that's... Hopefully that helps. It's not bad advice for feeling the package. Why did I do that kind of intro? I mean, outro. It's so ugly. Okay, we have four questions left. Grim Studios uh, says... I'm assuming it's supposed to say what. It said, with is your favorite infinite self set so far? I think it's supposed to say, what is your favorite infinite set? I have to say, probably the garrison pack. It's just so well-rounded. It's basically all you need for a nice Halo Infinite battle in just one set. So, I, I would say garrison pack. I'm trying to think, what else? Maybe the pelican? I really love the pelican build, but the figure, like the chief in that set... Is kind of mad to me, so that puts it just beneath the garrison pack. Drone Ant asks, what is your favorite Halo Mega blind bag series? Battle for the Ark, 100%. There's like Challenger and Stormbound that have like the really cool ODSTs and whatnot, but Battle for the Ark is my favorite because number one, it's got the like Halo Wars Marines in like the green undersuit and all that. The mask guys, and those are my favorite marines or some of my favorite marines of all time 
And then it's just really well-rounded. The the Brute is great. The Elite is great. The Grunt, which I never got the Grunt, but the Grunt is great. And then we got a couple Spartans in there. And then the mini build is all right. I mean, it's, it's kind of one of the lesser of the things. But overall, it's just a really well-rounded series. And it was the series that got me into Mega Constructs in the first place. So I've got, I guess, a little nostalgia for it as well. Leo814 asks, would you ever review a Lego Ninjago set? And if you have, would you do it again? You know, I don't think I've actually reviewed anything Lego Ninjago. I have some Lego Ninjago. But I haven't reviewed any. Maybe I'll look around and see if I can pick up one of the original sets. Like, that would be great. Maybe, like, the, um, there was one of the first Ninjago sets I ever saw was that one with, I think it was Kai, and it was called, like, Ninja Ambush, and there was, like, this little bamboo thing, and you would put Kai on the other side and press this little launcher, and the bamboo would, like, split in half, and then he would come flying out. Maybe I'll see if I can track that down, because it would be cool to do, like, a Legacy Ninjago, um, kind of review. Oh, and look, here's Not a Hacker 776. What is your favorite set slash blind bag? All time, don't do this to me. This is a hard question to answer. Favorite set, I think, still is the Cabal Harvester, just because of how big and awesome it is, and because it has Cade. So, I think it definitely would be the Cabal Harvester. Garrison Pack is a close second, though, and then. Blind bag again, battle for the arc. Specific blind bag would be the marine. So hopefully that answers the question properly. So that was the last of the questions, and we've got a couple more here, a couple more reviews here to look at. We've got three more. Well, this is not all of them. I had a few more, but I picked the ones that looked the most interesting. So this was oh wow, this is my second review ever. These intros, why? This was absolutely unnecessary, way too long, and super janky. It's so long, and why did I use this music? Oh my gosh. Alright, today we are going to look at the Sandman and Rhino supervillain team up. Let's start with the minifigures. Alright, so we've got Spider-Man. At least I sound kind of natural. Same as in previous sets, but this time he has the dual color legs, red boots. Um, these legs are exclusive to this set. They have not made any others with it. <laughs> That's outdated information at this point. They've made the dual molded legs for Spider-Man so many times now. So that right there is one reason to get this set. So next we have I did a fade. Um, he's, there was an actual he's fade. Got what? Legs, no Why did all the other ones just tick, 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 jump around? Because this was, I think, my only, only my second review. The hammer it's to show his huh? turning himself. Um, his head is a repurposed Merkwood elf. Face. It is an elf face, which uh, the Merkwood elf face was actually a repurposed Haldir face from Battle for Helm's Deep, so that's kind of weird. I think they could have done better, maybe had him grinning or something like that. It just, that face just After this set, I think they've done two or three other Sandmans, like one full sand one and another one like this, and so far, they look better. So figure is exclusive to this set, so that's another reason why this set is worth getting. The next villain in the set is... <laughs> Angry Clone! He's a pretty simple... Why did they use Angry Clone for Rhino? My Lego. That was not a good choice. Pretty simple body printing, but it still looks really good. And, again, I've heard people complain about that, but I think this face looks really good. <laughs> I do not think that anymore. I think they could have done so much better on that face. They've got the same face, just more browning. Yeah, show the back print and then cover it up with your hand. That's a great idea. Uh, finally, we have Amadeus Cho in the Iron Spider armor. Now, Iron they've Spider since made another Iron Spider minifigure that looks better, but I still have this guy and I still really like this figure. He's got, um, he has some printing on his back. It's just like a pretty simple gold circle with some lines on it. It's actually like a fat spider symbol with spots to make it look like the arms could pop out. 
Spider-Man collection. He looks pink in this video, honestly. Really awesome minifigure. All right, so on to some of the builds. Now, I did, I, I ended up selling this Rhino mech itself, but I do think that this mech was pretty well done. Simple, but effective. Overall, I, to this day, I would recommend building the Rhino mech if you just have the parts. Or just buying it, because I know people sell it separately, like I did. Holds up and then this little Technic thing goes down so that you can fit rhino inside on this little orangey cushion looking thing folds back up his head folds back down i think this has to be based off of the amazing spider-man appearance cool. even if they didn't I call it that they didn't like it and that was kind of a weird because it looks like the amazing spider-man version just slightly yes. less fat than iron spider this is my favorite part of this set All right, another fade I don't, I don't understand. I was like doing fades and then not. Got a whole lot of play features. The crane drops the boulder. Sandman's, Sandman. <laughs> Sandman's hand. Whee! Yeets it off the. But it's a pretty clever. Build. The whole like board. Fits back on. You can turn it. Fingers move. <sighs> now everybody watching this video is going to be yawning. And just for that, I'm actually going to keep it in the video so that you're just going to be watching this video just normally, and then you're going to have to yawn. It's got this really big piece right here that I've never seen before. Many sets. This was a pretty cool set. There was a little too many, like, super jumper gimmicks, but it was pretty good. <laughs> oh, that hand was annoying. These pieces come off so you can have Rhino come smashing through. Um, also, if these hands were easily removed, that would have been. A lot I actually better. modified it later so that I could remove the hands. I don't think I, I made another video about it. I'm not going to show it, but yeah, I actually did it so you could take the hands off by jumpers. So that you can remove these sand pillars and stuff. Yeah, that would look a lot better. I wish Lego would have done that. Set also includes one of Spider-Man's. I think I have like eight of those web strings now. Get them off correctly. Oh yeah, you can. I might cut that one out of the video. Or maybe not. If I feel like being mean, I'll leave it in. It should pop off with very minimal damage or nothing at all. Get them off right. If you don't, you can severely damage the back of the minifigure's leg. Overall... <laughs> I just cut off mid-sentence. You can severely damage the back of the minifigure's leg. $40. What? What was that editing there? Or maybe it was my filming. Maybe I actually just cut it off mid-sentence. Let's see. I just go through. I want to see my outro for this one. It's, it's a pretty good set. I've heard a lot of people not like it. I've heard some people like it. So just, like I said, don't put too much expectations on the build. Okay. I mean, that was not a bad outro, I guess. It's not really an outro, but whatever. Oh, oh, I remember this one. I, there's, there's, I like this one, actually. Or I did, I did like this one. Continuity again with the intros kind of it's still garbage, but oh wait. No, no, never mind The one I was thinking of that I liked before was the next video This set though. I looked forward to this set so much This is the first time we got a MCU spider-man minifigure actually wait a moment There he is. This is the exact same figure. A Civil War this is the Civil War Spider-Man from that exact set. You don't get him very many sets. Um, so let's look a little bit closer at the minifigures. So we'll start with the least interesting. It's the vanilla cap. That cap came in so many sets. And the newer cap. Come here. Get off. Newer cap. Way better. I didn't have him, so he's a nice addition to my collection. Well, they made him frowning, at least, if they had to keep him in the set. 
Or yeah, frowning face would have been nice if they had to keep printing the mask, which I think the printed mask looks pretty nice, but his smile is just weird. He's like, it's just weird. I cut off again. No. Why? Why? Just, yeah, just, you know, we don't care to hear the end of the sentence. Just cut, cut it off. Just, just, you know, I'll be in the middle of talking and then we'll just cut this. I actually have changed the face. Yeah, they did use, they used Cap's face. And since then, I actually put an Anakin face on there and it looks a lot more accurate. They actually did that. Lego did that recently. They basically remade the Age of Ultron face and just made purple glasses. Next to this cap. And we've got Vision. Some people don't like this minifigure. I don't know why. I think he's really awesome. I've been wanting again for a while. But I hadn't because the only set he came in was the very large Quinjet City Chase. Which is like a $90 set. So I just never got that. So I was really excited when I saw that he came in this set. Um, the previous Vision minifigure had a mistake where his gem in his head was blue. I actually did a review of that Quinjet with one of my cousins, and I don't think I ever uploaded it. At least I didn't see it on the upload thing, which I'm a little disappointed because that one was even more goofy than usual. Let you know how awesome this Spider-Man is. I looked at the leaked images of this figure for so long, waiting for the set to come out. And when it finally came out, it was just like, it was so cool to get my hands on the figure with some printing on the legs. still well, possibly one of the best spider-man minifigures to this day um, the new spider -Man so cool just superb minifigure definitely worth getting the set even if it's just for him he kind of makes the other spider-man look a little bit lame when you put them next to each other he does he 100 percent makes the old spider-man look lame it just in one of his movie, but still, this one's got to be my favorite. Yeah, to this day, it's still one of the best. Well, I mean, I guess Hawkeye's motorcycle isn't technically a build. Looks really nice up there. You can move the it's not a half bad super jumper function, like in terms of what the super jumper functions did. I think maybe it could have been a little bit better if they had some sort of like little supply shack or something. Maybe like. A shed here, still have the windsock and the barrels, but have like a tiny little shed. It's made out of brown. Uh, that would have driven the, the price of the setup so much. Tanker itself. Again, some people didn't like this, but I don't know why, because it's a really solid little build. Well, I guess it's not really little. It's a really solid build, and it's... Good. It's really not a half bad truck build. Yellow pieces, which it's pretty good. smooth. It works well. <laughs> that was a little weird. It was just a truck driving around and exploding and nobody was in it. Right here, they probably should have added some little gray smooth piece to cover that stud up, but you can... <laughs> and for those of you who know, uh, like, about the Miles Morales game, Roxxon was, like, the enemies in that game. They were kind of evil. I think Roxxon tends to be evil, usually in, like, the comics and whatnot. No fades here, just a straight cut. With Cap and Hawkeye. But other than that, it's a really great set. If you have the pieces to build a little driver to add on, it makes it even better. So, the only problem is it might be kind of hard to get right now. I, hmm, that was weird. That was very weird. That, okay. Okay, the last one. Here we go. I'm almost used to the janky intro by now. Okay, never mind. It's still taking way too long, and the volume is too loud again. Alright, this is my fourth review. Um, this is the 
I don't know why I was keeping track of like the number of reviews, like number review number one, review number two, review number three. Like if I did that now, I think I would be losing track of which one it was. Like, oh guys, welcome to review number forty, or is it forty one? Alright, I guess we'll start with Katana. I don't really know who she is, so I can't say how accurate she is to wherever she comes from. But she's got some nice arm printing. That arm print is actually really cool. I don't understand why her face is gray, but gray and... This is actually my brother's set, and I think he still has it. But it might be taken apart and packed up. So you can add that if you want to. She looks kind of cool with two of them. So she's got good printing and all that. I just don't know the character. Next we have Captain Boo. I like the again the cutoff just like da 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 just cool. speaking and then just you're done speaking. From Force Awakens, but it looks really good. Just some creases. And then the new boomerang pieces. Those boomerang pieces are pretty cool. They did a really great job. If you push on the top when he's holding it, you can actually sort of make him throw it. So this is a really good minifigure, nice villain, nice What? Mission. I'm gonna go like, oh yeah, you can actually shoot it if you push here and then not show it. Red Hood. This minifigure is... And then he's got his motorcycle that also has... It's just, has like I said before, the pacing of this video or... Something that I, I don't know, it's just slow, it's weird. worth getting i mean i do ramble i still ramble in videos Croc, the best minifigure in this set and then the set of course includes batman um he's no 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 batman the millionth batman because pretty much every time lego does batman they put a batman in every single batman set because everybody wants batman legs with the boots the blue color gray and black for batman the same like kind of like what they had with joker land but they didn't so whatever <laughs> so what whatever i sounded so like disgruntled about that just whatever what wait 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 i have to go back whoops those legs were included include well, why did I keep doing that? Just did I stop recording too quick? Killer Croc. Really scary grin on his face with showing all his teeth. Scary grin. No, it's just your everyday, you know, you're walking down the road and you smile at somebody and that's what your smile looks like. Blue shorts. Some nice printing in here. And this is the same color as Age of Ultron Hulk, but he's this guy's really awesome. He's, he's the same color as Age of Ultron Hulk, but he's really awesome. The Age of Ultron Hulk was a great figure. One of the best big figures Lego's made. Except for the Age of Ultron Hulk. But... What? Very nice. Okay, I'm not going to question it, okay? Just... Printing. Uh, I'm going to question the wording too much if I let myself keep going. Really good. Now, his machine... Well, we'll look at that. Now, in most Again! Again! Again, just cutting off in the middle of the sentence. Why? That's not good. Yes, it's easily removed if you want it off. Starts to pull on it and then just decides not to. And then you can clip a boomerang onto here and push this. Whoa. And you hit Batman. So that was actually a nice shot. kind of chomps like this. There's no place to hold a minifigure, but it's still really fun to... Killer Croc on there and have it go chomping around. Have it go chomping around. About how this chomping function didn't work. And it doesn't work great if you don't push it fast. <laughs> this looks so weird. Just like chomp a chomp a chomp a chomp. You can have go chomping around, especially from the front. Look at those giant teeth. That is, that's some frightening teeth. That's some There's frightening teeth. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the bat tank now. I forgot how epic that build is. Factory ammo belts to hold the teeth on. The teeth of this new 
Come on, just get us to the bat tank. It's time to look at the bat tank. <laughs> but whatever. Pushing it does not make it turn. You have to make it turn by yourself. But if you no, you do go with the bat tank, it falls off. So appropriate. Come on. Let's look at the bat tank now. Come on. As a little picture of bat, bat tank. tank. Bat tank. Come on. Let's go. One says tail, another one says chomp. So, like I said, it's a good side build. Don't put Yes, it's a side build though. Okay, you know what? It's sometimes the side builds deserve more attention. One of the most epic bat vehicles to ever enter a Lego set. The bat tank. This thing does look so freaking cool. Say, it's so awesome. All these little treads and everything, the way all the lines fit together, it just looks beyond epic. There's only a few things that are kind of like could have been better. This right here, you actually have to turn it like this to be able to fire. Right here. Come on, shoot it. Are you gonna shoot it? <laughs> oh. Younger self, are you gonna shoot it? You're not gonna shoot it. Okay. You've got one exposed red gear. Maybe they should have done that gray or black. Might have looked a little bit better. But still, the awesomeness much outweighs the non awesomeness. It's got this piece here. Oh yeah, this feature was really weird and kind of interesting. It's like a ram. You just flip down and smash whatever's in front of it. I've heard some people say that maybe some engine detail right here would have been nice, but they can't really do that because these pieces, when it folds back, it rests on it. The whole transforming action is really smooth. I think there were some spring shooters on there somewhere. Yeah, those little those little ball pieces, those shoot something. You can't turn it back. You have to pull it back. But still, it's easily overlooked. Oh wait, no, never mind. Those little ball things, you just pop it off, and it was like a bomb. It's just so awesome. These little silver things. <laughs> I feel like I still do this sometimes, where I'm just like, the thing is so awesome. I'm just like, I have this set. I'm supposed to review it. I'm supposed to say something intelligent, but it's just so awesome. I can't even speak. <laughs> nice and comfortable, you know, when you're smashing giant crocodiles, that's your first priority is comfort. A little picture of Killer Croc and some stats about Killer Croc. And then bolt shut. Looks really nice. There's, like, I think, other than the control panel, there's only one sticker. This is bat symbol here. The rest of the detail is all built. The design is really awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is definitely one of those videos where I was like, I don't really have anything intelligent to say just because of how awesome it is. Which, I don't know, some people might find it annoying, but it just has to happen to be able to fold it over. Now, the instructions are really interesting, but I'll start, I'll start with this. this is Lego kind of moved away from putting those comics in sets, which is kind of sad, because they were always just kind of extra little bits of fun with those superhero sets. The instructions, I think this was the first time I had seen instructions split up in this way between large and small, but that's pretty common now. I've seen it a lot. Maybe Lego was just getting into it at the time. I just can't stop posing, Chief. Why do I keep doing things by five stars? Really nice. The motorcycle is a nice detail. The croc chompers a pretty good little build. Like I sound bored sometimes here. I'm like, yeah, this is kind of a good build, but you know, it's all right. It's definitely worth the money. <laughs> well, there you have it. That is some, some slightly. Uh, Cringe older reviews. Now, I'm surprised it was not as cringy as I thought it was going to be.
but there are still a lot of things. So if you're thinking of doing any sort of reviews of any sort, or um, that was a little redundant, any sort of reviews of any sort. If you're thinking of doing any reviews or even just like figure showcases, here's a couple things. First of all, a nice neutral background. That's really important. Good light. That's also really important. And when you're speaking like, I don't know, practice. So that way you don't sound as awkward. Like get used to hearing yourself on camera. And then you can avoid some of the things. And please, please do not. When you're filming, do not cut your voice off mid. That's like, that's the worst. One of the worst things you can do. Don't cut off what you're saying mid sentence and then you'll just sound weird. So there you go. That is the 5K Q&A and slightly cringe fest. Uh, what was that? Oh, Cosmo is apparently in my room. I didn't realize it. Kitty kitty. He's glaring at me. I guess he wants to go out. So I probably should wrap this video up. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.